she is smoking. Make sure it's not actually leaking, boys. I don't really think it is. But definitely got a lot of oil on the exhaust, clearly. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Pantis. This is my 2008 Saab 95 that I purchased off Copart about a year ago, a year and a couple months. Last July, August, we purchased it and fixed it into September. So just over a year, we purchased this car from Copart, rebuilt it from a front end collision. So if you guys are brand new to the channel, I will link that playlist above. This car has been running super well over the last year with little things to do. But last year when we did buy the car, I noticed that the oil pan at 91, 92,000 miles was leaking. And that's a very common thing at that mileage range on these cars. So here we are today at 96,000 miles, only 5,000 miles driven in a year. This car's gonna last forever if that keeps up. So we're gonna go ahead today and actually pull the oil pan down and replace all the internal seals and reseal the only thing that's leaking on this car, which is the oil pan. So stay tuned, guys. All right, boys, so before we get our hands, start to get our hands dirty, I just wanted to show you everything that's going on underneath the car here since we have it taken apart now. You guys can look. There is oil literally underneath the oil pan line. If you look at the valve, if you look at the timing chain cover, it's pretty dry. Just the lower part of it's a little moist, but that's just because the belt is picking up some of that moisture from the pan and pushing it forward, or pushing it up, I should say. Same thing over here, dry. Just the oil pan is wet, which means the oil is falling from the oil pan gasket down. And if you guys continue underneath the car, you guys will see that there is oil on the exhaust here. So this is what's been smoking and burning um, when the car sits for a little while. When, when it's driving, it's fine, but when it rests overnight, all that oil that's seeping from the pan is coming right down onto the exhaust. And obviously it's messy over here, very messy over here. And these are your oil cooler lines. So these always could leak, guys. So just be sure when you're doing this, you check this out. And if you look, those oil cooler lines are completely dry, which again is showing us that the oil pan is the one that needs to be addressed. So. We're gonna go ahead now, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna drain the oil and I'm gonna recy recycle it because it's fresh oil still. We're gonna go up top, unplug the plugs and release the exhaust here and then we'll get to work. Pretty straightforward guys, you've seen me do it before but this is just the 2008 Copart Saab that we rebuilt. I wanted to show you guys what it looked like underneath here. It's pretty nice actually for, uh, for the age. We got lucky with this purchase. We got very lucky with this purchase. All right, so I'm gonna put this camera back on fast forward. We're gonna drain the oil. I'm gonna work on top here with releasing the top bolts on the exhaust, and of course, releasing the harnesses to the catalytic converters and O2 sensors. All right, boys, a little update for you. I just removed the light from here, but all the bolts are off the top here. Wires are freed. You just watch me do that. So I'm gonna go underneath there, get the third bolt off the exhaust, 
drop the exhaust down and then we'll start to uh, remove the pan. We gotta remove the torque mount screw, the 160 millimeter, and then the 211s on the uh, pan, or excuse me, on the transmission on the side to free it up and then we'll, we'll knock it out. Pretty quick here. All right, boys, now you guys can get a clear view since this is all out of the way. Oil dripping from the pan right onto the cat, AKA that's what's smoky and that's what is stinky in the mornings or at a stoplight. So we'll clean this off and we'll also get this oil pan down now. Looks like we got some trash there from the uh, accident. That's interesting. We'll have to remove that. No big deal. But everything else is looking pretty good under here. Really good. boys here is the pan it uh, looks pretty good nice and clean typical uh, you know typical looking oil pan in these sobs but overall looks good let's open up the, the sump pump here and see if there's any sludge I highly 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 doubt that there is any it's kept, this car is running really good but we're gonna replace the seals on the sump pump and then of course as always we're gonna re return uh, we're gonna replace the seals on the return line Zero sludge. The sump is nice and clean, guys. You guys can see my hand rubbing at the bottom here. There is zero sludge in that oil pan. That's 
pretty amazing. We'll just spray this out. Little debris in there, that's like really nothing. So that's awesome stuff. I'm gonna drain the rest of this oil out. See guys, pan is really, really nice and clean on this. So that's really amazing. We'll just give it a quick wipe and then uh, we'll be good to go. All right guys, we'll just give this a quick little wipe down here. Again, I'm not gonna go crazy because this pan is, um, is in pretty good shape. We'll, we'll probably clean the outside a little bit more. There's some debris here from pulling everything off. Look at that, how, how nice this looks. It's pretty incredible. That means this car was well maintained before we owned the car and also all of GM's adjustments that they made to these engines over the course of sludging issues really paid off well. All right, guys, new seal. As you just saw, I was taking off this old rubber here. It's, uh, it's actually still pretty rubbery. It's not cracking, so that's a good thing. So uh, at least we know that the engine was getting consistent good oil pressure. So let's, re let's reinstall this. I cleaned this up a little bit. Wasn't that dirty, but got most of it out. And uh, whatever's there is there. It's fine. So let's start to reassemble this. And then um, the last thing we'll do is the return line with this new seals, which is going to be hard for you to see, but I'll show you with the camera. All right, guys, next thing is I'm just going to degrease the edges one more time and then we'll apply the sealer coat on that. But before we do that, let's do the oil return line real quick. All right, boys, we have everything cleaned off here and on the car. These are the seals from the return line, and as you can also see, they're not cracking as bad as I've seen before. So these are, they're, they're cracking a little bit as you can see, but not crazy. So we're all set now. All surfaces have been pretty well cleaned. Now we'll go ahead and just apply this Loctite gasket maker, which I will link below for you if you guys want to do this yourself. Alright boys, go ahead and do it All right, boys, we are back. I did a little bit off camera. 
such as uh, tightening down the, the oil pan and then of course I put the splash, uh, splash guard back into place and uh, we're pretty much ready to go for the reinstallation of the exhaust so I'm going to actually do that right now tidied up some of the stuff up front here like new clips on the, the bumper so we're all good here that stuff's been drying in there that uh, glue for about uh, half hour now 40 minutes on the pan so we'll we'll put that we will put the uh, exhaust back up and I also got the uh, torque mount mounted back up there you guys can see it from here so pretty much all set and ready to go for final assembly Alright boys, so it's time to refill the engine with this oil. I'm reusing the same oil simply simply for the fact that uh, it only has like 2,000 miles on it. There's no reason to not reuse it. So, And uh, just so you guys know, I did clean out this container before we spilt the oil in there from the engine. So there is zero debris or dirt in this, uh, in this pan here. All right, we are set to go here, boys. Go ahead and put the tire on on the other side. All right, boys, she's got oil in there. The only thing we got left to do here is put the, the wheel back on and uh, lower it to the ground. But I'm gonna turn it on, let it idle, and then we'll bring it out. Me up, boys. I'm gonna back her out, check the oil, let her run and smoke away. All right, guys, here she is. Sounding really good starting to smoke up a little bit which is fine we got to burn off whatever oil hit the exhaust and uh, we'll take it for a little ride here I'm gonna clean up all these leaves no more oil leaks on this car good for the winter now awesome and of course this thing is straight piped if you guys don't remember or watched the series last year when we fixed up the exhaust we ended up straight piping getting rid of the center exhaust there 
Please. So the center muffler. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead, tidy this thing up with some fresh oil, top it off, and uh, take it for a ride, guys. Stay tuned. All right, boys, we are on the road. Temp is full, sport mode engaged. Let's get, get this thing up to speed, drive it around for about five, 10 minutes, burn that oil off the uh, exhaust. We'll come back, double check the fluids one more time, inspect underneath the car, make sure everything's looking good, and we'll send her on her way, because uh, as you guys know, this is not my daily driver. So before it goes off to the person who daily drives it, who's my sister-in-law, we gotta make sure it's all checked out. Running good and smooth. No complaints. Just the way the Saab should feel. Quick, smooth, and uh, really, you never really know what the speed is unless you're looking, so that's what's fun about these things. So, awesome. Yeah, she is smoking. Make sure it's not actually leaking, boys. I don't really think it is. But definitely got a lot of oil on the exhaust, clearly. Yeah, nothing is leaking. It is just getting all the oil and everything off of the exhaust. Everything looks really good. So I am happy to announce that. I'm gonna keep the engine running so all this stuff just burns away. All right, boys, we just double checked the fluids. Everything's looking good. There's a lot of oil in that catalytic converter, so obviously that's gonna burn off over the next 100 miles or so. But she's looking good, sounding good, driving good, and I just went in there as you guys just saw, no leaks. So we're all set to go. I'll link everything in the description below that you guys may need if you guys wanna do this to your subs, 9.3 or 9.5, this engine generation. So be sure to give this video a like, comment below, share it, and of course, if you guys wanna to talk to me and have any questions, you guys can follow me at Kyle Pantsis. So stay tuned for next video. Thank you.